so this is my soldering hot plate here that I built. We have uh, starting at the top we have a big chunk of aluminum at six by four by one and a half and uh, in the ends you see uh, slots milled for cooling because uh, before before I milled those slots it would take like six hours to cool down all the way so it was dangerously hot for a long time which is a bad thing to have <laughs> around your shop. Um, there's also the on off switch and the switch for the fan and the uh, standard power plug connector. Then uh, if we look at the front here you can see the relay. Uh, it's a mechanical relay running at half of its rated capacity. Uh, this is the PID controller, just uh, your standard cheap PID controller off eBay. And uh, there's also in here you can see there's a fan. And that fan is for uh, cooling it down more rapidly. Um, then the only thing that's really in the back here that you can see is the thermocouple. And there's also a small well. This is full of uh, solder. You can use it for uh, tinning wires. Particularly wires, if you're going to tin a bunch of wires or a wire that's hard to tin, like a really thin headphone wire or enameled wire. And so, I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, one of the things I'd like to use it for, which is, you can use it for you know your regular standard solder paste soldering. It works very well for that, um, and I think it works well because uh, it's easier on the parts because you're applying the heat from the bottom instead of from to the pads instead of from the top to the packages. So uh, it's m may or may not be scientifically true, but I I think it. Uh, is easier on your parts than using regular hot air gun. Uh, also, I have it set uh, somewhat below my solder's melting temperature right now. I'm going to use it as a preheater here to uh, remove a little quad flat no lead part here. Let's zoom in, see if you can see it. The part I'm removing is this little square thing right here. And you can see it, it's this little square thing right here. So, I'm going to preheat uh, the board here. Um, and, zoom out. I'll show you my technique for uh, more more or less gently removing a part. So you preheat the board, you take your hot air, come in here, and you can see. Start your air on the part. There it goes, it comes right off. You can remove your board from the heat. And uh, I don't know if you can see, but that part is uh, particularly hard to get off with just air. because uh, as you can see there, it has a big thermal via pad. So there's a lot of solder under there. You'd have to get the package really, really hot because there's thermal vias that go underneath here. Uh, a bunch of thermal vias. So that type of part with a big pad hidden and a bunch of thermal vias is pretty hard to get off with just air. You've got to really uh, heat it up way past where you're supposed to. <laughs> To get it off with just air. So that's why 
I like my new soldering hot plate. And there you have it. It's a good tool to build.